Uh, hi, this is Peter at the River Wall. This is my interior wall. It's been up for two years. So I now sort of have a handle on um, the materials and how to keep it alive. Um, to answer some of the questions that people have been writing to me, uh, this is the mat I'm using. It's a non-woven, inert, inorganic material that is used for uh, roof gardens. And uh, what's great about it is that it uh, is a breathing uh, material, but it's water retentive. When water hits this, ma this mat, uh, it stays on the inside. It keeps the water from going outside, thereby not flooding the room, and, um, and allows the roots to uh, grow on this mat. It's put together like a sandwich, one on top of the other. There's no other material in between, no rock wool or anything else like that. And, um, and it provides enough shelter uh, and protects the roots from light. And it also uh, allows them to grow fully on the inside. Now, uh, what I do is use behind it um, compressed PVC board. This is half inch. And um, some people use 3 8 so you can use a little thinner. It all depends on the frame because you want it to be somewhat rigid. This keeps the wall behind the plant wall dry. So uh, actually there's no wall, no water stains or there's never been a leak or anything like that on the wall uh, behind this plant wall right here. Uh, what's great about this is that um, you can take the mat, put it on, and then staple it. And the staples are hold very well into the PVC sheet. So I recommend it highly. I get this at the local hardware store. Uh, it's more and more available. There are different uh, manufacturers. I've actually gotten um, some sheets from China and I have checked with the factory and with various people and they are non-toxic so you don't have to worry about hurting the plants.